again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida with a dry 10 by 20 inch canvas that was coated with mead and black paint, one coat, and I want to do some reds in my background for whatever might come next. And I've got Big Apple and Poinsettia and some Pink Carnation and I've actually got some Cupid's Crush, which may or may not come into play. Some Rhapsody Rose, same thing. There's my Quinacridone Nickel, uh, excuse me, my Quinacridone Magenta. I don't have as many reds as I thought I did. Uh, I know there's another one around here somewhere. There's in Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red. That was what I was looking for. But. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to try and stop short too. I'm going to go across as well. Now I know I need something lighter in color so I'm going to try and find the lovey pink because I don't have, I don't want to use white. I have a color at affiliate. You will find a 20% off color art coupon code below the video. If you are looking for color art products, you will find a lot of them by visiting the website. This is the poinsettia. Wonderful color. I am probably going to include some saffron, some red orange. And when it comes right down to it, there's probably going to be some purple. And probably a little jasmine, too. Although I'm not seeing it handy, and I wonder where it went. There it is. And frosted berry is there as well. I've got to start somewhere. Maybe a little of the um, pink carnation also. And I want gold. There's no doubt about that. So I've got some Indian Spice Gold. Let's see what we can do. I'd like to keep some of the black, but the reason the canvas is painted black is because I can, I'm can. i fully aware of being able to scrape through and bring back some negative space. Now if I don't finish it, this venture at this stage, that's okay. It's a much smaller canvas. I thought about going on the diagonal, and I probably will do that, just not in this particular piece. I've been using much larger canvases. I have a couple of these, one in 18 by 24 and a one in one in the 16 by 20. And uh, it's a lot more fun on a larger canvas, although it's still fun. So I'm thinking I'm going to put just a little more color down and then maybe scrape through. And I've got this funky tool that was in my parents' watercolor kit. It's a scraper, and I'm wondering what that's going to do. Do I, Am I done? Do I want a little bit of something odd? I do. A little bit of sour lemon with orange crush, just to add a little spice. kind of want that, want more of that. <laughs> I want to be careful of it, because a little goes a long way. And while I'm at it, why not go for it? Because I really like the way this um, saffron looks. You could probably do this with dots. It would come out looking entirely different. I didn't use any big apple. I need some. Where though? All right, here goes nothing.
This is dedicated to Linda, who loves red. Linda, you know who you are. And I know you'll be watching this as long as it's got red in it. I kind of want some white too. I wonder how that's going to work. I need a, a dish. I'm going to try and not be too noisy and I'll just put some white down in a little dish and use my my playing card. kind of thinking I want some, uh, what am I trying to say, some interference gold. I just saw it. Not sure about any of that. Because it's a black background, I'm a lot nervous about taking too much color off the canvas. What have I got? I wanted to use the Vivid Intense Red. I can't even remember if I did it or not. I'm going to use it with the Indian Spice Gold again. I've become. Now I could be doing this all with my spatula, but I wanted to try it with the playing card. And I do like that. I think the, um, the sour lemon with orange crush is a really good addition. Do I have a toothy tool left somewhere? I know I do have some. And the dish rack, dish drainer. If I get at things quick enough, I can scrape through. A little wobbly. Use my residuals. Not sure about that. I'm feeling some orange coming. But I want more red. Okay, control yourself, woman. Uh, Cupid's Crush, I'm gonna try some. It's a primary element. I will list the colors underneath the video. try that tool when I want to. Still time. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Good mark making tool. You could look through your kitchen junk drawer and probably find some really cool stuff. I'm not sure what to do about the black interior. I kind of like it the way it is. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing down there. Sorry. Loving the gold. I 
still want some of that interference gold. I really, I really don't want to take all the black, but I really want to keep going. And I don't think a little schmutz on my card is going to hurt anything. Maybe I won't take that chance though. That's nice and heavy. That'll be beautiful. I want some, I still want some orange. Keep thinking orange. I might go for some plum blossom too. I like the orange. Orange is good. The orange makes me want yellow. <laughs> Hard to stop this process once you start. Just have to listen to your intuition. I want more red though. More big apple. Right there. I've got nice purpley reds too, but I think we're doing okay so far. Except for I just stuck my fingernail in there. New mark. Now where do we want some of that red? Definitely want to try and scrape something up. Yeah, that's not hurting my feelings any. I think I want some um, some jasmine there though. So far so good. Not as sure about this wobbly mark down here at the bottom. Thinking something else needs to go in there. Maybe some saffron. Maybe a couple places actually. And I never did anything with the Tuscan Sun I can see right up there. It's just sitting there waiting to be dealt with. I do get little dry things once in a while. Oh, I love that orange there. It's a whole different kind of geometric. And so much fun, really. And I kind of try and do them in a short amount of time because my camera shuts off at 20 minutes. I'm not even sure my timer's set. I've still got almost four minutes left. Cool. And I might call it good. I might like to do something I haven't done that I keep thinking I want to do. That white is calling me. I want to be careful of it though. Where do I want it? That's the question. No paint chips allowed. I try and put my colors in different places so that they'll move the eye around inside of a composition. I'm getting very close to thinking I might be done soon. I need a little more pink carnation. I 
I just happen to have a little bit of white left on my card, which is kind of okay. Still have some black. I'm impressed that I could keep that. White's okay, but it's better with some color on it, I think. I'm thinking I am pretty close. I know I've said that a bunch of times. Never mind. I didn't mess up the continuity of the interference gold. I love, love, love using up my residuals. Seems to be split down the middle of that, which is very cool. I didn't realize it. Whatever it is, it's leaving a great mark behind. I need some contrast. I'm pretty happy. Yep, I could probably shimmer this at you. But I'm still having fun playing in paint. Alright, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you know that there's 32 playlists of 100 videos each on my channel. And if you're interested in a topic or a genre, I also have them organized and separated and easily accessible. The links are available to me so I can share them with you. And I need to grab my phone from wherever I, oh, there, across the room. I guess I thought I was done. So, if I'm not completely satisfied, I keep saying this, I'll come back and do something with it tomorrow. But in the meantime, I seem to be pretty happy with it. Unless there's something crooked, in which case it bothers me until I have to do something about it. Which is that. All right, let's shimmer this at you as best I can with the lights on, which isn't great. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, no, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I think I told you that twice now. The, uh, the YouTube algorithm reacts to uh, people watching videos longer. And if you want to see my channel survive and stay here, thank you, by the way, for all the donations through PayPal and Patreon. And the memberships are keeping my channel alive. It's $9.99 a month to be a member and you help me buy a Floetrol and canvases and GAC 800 and expensive things like Josonia gloss varnish. In any case, my, uh, my community board will show you tomorrow's video. It's at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Springfield, Florida. My email address is EISPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I gotta learn to move my phone when I'm talking. Thank you again. Uh, check out my link tree. It's got my Amazon link. My two books are there because they can and unlimited possibilities. Questions are welcome and encouraged. If you need me, just ask me. I'm happy to help. Whatever I've forgotten is everything is reproducible at any one of the places that you can find on my link tree, including pixels.com, Find in America. Uh, Society6, The Gallerist, and underneath the video, Spring. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Ah, that's the third time. Never mind. <laughs> I love you guys. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Bye for now. I appreciate you all. You inspire me always. Priscilla out.